Things are kind of scary now. Scary now. Oh my. Hello everybody, my name is Edward Harley and welcome back to more Pocket Mirror Now. Last time, if I can find the file. Anyway, last time we found out, or I guess we went into uh, the house. And I'm fairly certain we made some good progress. Anyway, we found out how mean she is. It has been it has been like two weeks since I played this game, so I'm really glad that I can come back to it. I don't know why I haven't been playing it. I don't know. It just it just feels like one that I need to really sit down and really focus on. For some reason I just haven't for some reason I just haven't been in that place mentally. Yeah, Fleta, she's mean. So let's just see how mean she gets in this episode. This is actually my most special room. Really? Uh huh. It's a magic room. It'll turn. It'll turn. <laughs> it'll turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see. That's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. But I don't really like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? <laughs> I like that. Sh I picked red. I like blue. <laughs> but I like pink better. So, you're, so we're going with pink. Ugh! Then fine, just say, let's just pick pink. Don't make me pick. Alright, now watch and learn. <laughs> Good day! Like, what would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Ooh! With mirrors, we have a uh, bad experience with mirrors. There crazy shit happens when you go into weird mirrors. Let's go! Alright. Let's see this pink room shall we how are things in here these are my three special mirrors special mm -hmm. there's there's the mirror of prayer there's the, then there's the mirror of truth and then there's the mirror of judgment I don't know if I like that one I really don't like any of them because I'm sure they're gonna kill me what do they do just come with me I'll show you hang on my cat wants out give me one second all right I don't think she likes when I record. I apparently get kind of loud. So let's just pick pick a mirror. Which mirror is this? This is the mirror of judgment. Oh good, I picked the fun one first. That's amazing. It judges whoever stands in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun! Okay, so that, uh, my voice didn't really match the expression. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Okay. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. Oh! Ho, ho. <sighs> what? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. <clears throat> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? And Eglias just sitting there. It's like, mm -hmm, I agree with the mirror, princess. Wait, no, I don't. Don't beat me, please. Let's we'll see about that. Is it my turn? Come on, it's your turn to be judged. Oh no, I'm fine, Fleta. It's like, this is an order! Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant! Okay. Okay, hi, mirror. Who's the fairest? Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold that title, miss. And that one person is you. <gasps> oh! I am so flattered. Thank you very much, mirror. I like a little star. Egliet's like, yes, I agree. Fleta, you're really not the fairest. I'm sorry. I know Egliet. Hey, she agreed. She agreed with me. She agreed with the mirror. Don't you be saying saying that. Me? But I... That's enough. Okay. She's mad. She's mean. Got what it deserved. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get on to the next one. Okay. All right. We can do that. That'll be fine. This is the mirror of truth. It will answer all of your questions with nothing but the truth. I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the pinkest of them all. There's so many connotations to that question, but I'm not going to go into it. That is you, princess. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It could have only been you, Fleta. Right? Now you go. It's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know. It's your turn, not mine. Hmm... see what is that might be a good one what is my name instead of kind of going around about who am I or why can't I remember let's ask what my name is what is my name 
Mirror, could you tell me what my name is? That is something only you can find out. That is not the- well, technically that's the truth. But that's kind of a dodge, don't you think, Mr. Mirror? I see. Oh well, that's how it is. <laughs> yeah, don't be laughing at me. Let's move on to the next next mirror. Come on. Okay. This is the mirror of prayer. It can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Mm-hmm. Just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Very well, princess. Your desire is my command. <laughs> it worked! Now I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. Then I want a pocket mirror. I like that. It's like, I have one already. Why in the world do you want another one? I want a pocket huh? mirror. What? What would you want something like that for? You already have one. That's true. I just said it. Your desire is my command. Acquired a pocket mirror. <laughs> Why give me two? Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. Oh. What? <laughs> you look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. I don't think she knows what to say. Doesn't really know what to say. Why would I want something stupid like that? But it's a gift. Come on, accept it with gratitude. Just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. I like how she says that with a smile. Like, <laughs> just kidding. But I... Let's go? Follow me! I don't like you, Fleta. You are mean. You are very mean. I'm going to kind of go in here a little bit more. May you ever lose yourself in the princess's madness, and I shall aid you in your sadness. Okay, so at least I know the mirror has my back. Thank you, but I just wonder why she doesn't like me. It may take time, as the princess isn't very honest, but only you can put her to rest. She's dead! What do you mean? I can't move. Mirror? Hello? Alright. A tall, golden frame mirror hangs on the wall, devoid of reflection. Alright, so that one doesn't actually talk to me. Alright, so let's see if we can... Anything good? What about the broken one? A tall golden frame mirror hangs at the wall devoid of reflection. Well, that one's kind of broken. So that kind of makes sense. Is this one... Yep, alright. So I wonder if it would depend on which one I spoke to. Oop, I'm sorry I skipped something. Don't ever make me wait like this again. Sorry. Okay, I won't make you wait. I'll be a good little girl. Ooh, library. This is so my place. That's my place to be. This is my big library! It's where I keep all my favorite tales. There is not a single boring book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading right now. Okay, so why are we here? Why did you lead me here? I'll give you ten minutes to check on some books if you want to, if you want to. Thank you, Fleta. Sweet! I have free reign! So let's find some books. Hey, what are you doing over there looking at books? You said you didn't want to look at them. How to be a per uh, per perfect princess by Princess Fleta. Oh, I'm sure they're all about all from you. I'm sure they're all from you, aren't they? Oh, sorry. How to Dance the Waltz by Mr. Rabbit. Oh yeah, is he also tell something how to murder people? That's probably something you're probably right, eh, Mr. Rabbit? Boy's Midnight Journey by Henry Die Heigl Heilig. Is that how you pronounce it? Let's read it. A certain boy was known to have a problem problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night, one that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones he, that had perished. So he speaks to the dead. Awesome. Despite the various attempts to cure him of, this, of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. Everything from this page is... This, this page on is scratched out. Well, that's not good. No one around him will ever know about this secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. Hmm. This is the only thing written in the back. This is a very interesting book! Would you stop following me? I got places to be, things to do, books to read. There was once a little missy who was a well known for being quite prissy. That must be Fleta. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, embedded in aconite. Asinite was her last dessert. Bestowed with such a cruel demise, said the missy, it is now God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen, who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom, did their servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Fleta would like this kind of story. Well, it's probably not her. Well, it's about her, I'm fairly certain, but it's not her. 
I wish I had time to read all of these books, but unfortunately, I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Egliet? Are you finished yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did everything, so let's go. Let's go upstairs! Okay! What's upstairs? Is it something good for me? Or am I gonna die? Uh, I'd rather not die, so let's hope that's not what's gonna happen. Alright, so let's go into the... Star room? Constellation room? This is my favorite room in the whole house. Didn't you say that about the last one? I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Egliette. This room is beautiful, Fleta. <laughs> Isn't it? Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes! Let's let's do that. Sounds like a good plan. There's Egliette right there in the chair looking all menacing. The sofa is so comfortable. I could fall asleep here. I could fall asleep here. Why did I, why did I put that weird inflection? I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Egliette gets one for me. Egliette really does like you. Of course, and I lo love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Egliette? See? Well, I can't really hear what she's saying, so... I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do! You have me and Egliette! Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just feel lonely. I feel like I have been alone for a long time now, and I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Hmm. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. Egliette and I have always been here for you, and we'll, all un we'll always be. That's a little grammatically awkward. Right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliette, too. Oh, thank you, Egliette. <laughs> Good! Okay, am I just gonna sit here and just kind of... Ah... Uh, I would like a room like this, though. That'd be pretty awesome. Just have, like, stars and stuff with lights and that. That'd be cool. Actually, I have always wanted to ask you something. Huh? You have? What is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What... Th what do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, we need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> or maybe we could make a whole new floor just for you! What do you think, miss? Fleta, I, I don't know if I want to stay here. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine too. No, I mean, I, I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. What? With a twitch. I have to go. Go where? I, I don't know where, but I, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> Find out who you are. Fleta, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not going to let you go anywhere. F Fleta? Uh oh You've already found me. What else do you need? Or are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here with me, do you understand? I'm not liking Fleta, she's getting kinda scary. Do you understand? Yes? Now that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, what do you think, Egliette? Hmm, I don't know. Let's think. I don't need you telling me that. Okay, things are getting kind of scary. I think Fleta's gonna go on a murderous rampage here in a minute. <gasps> oh look, miss, a shooting star! <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish! I'm a little scared to make a wish, I don't really want to. Oh no, I didn't, ha <laughs> I didn't have the time to make all the wishes I wanted. What did you wish for, miss? Oh, I, uh... Hmm. Well, if I don't have any wishes, that might... Let's say it's a secret. She'll probably get mad, but let's yeah. say it's a secret. Oh, come on. Don't be stingy. Just tell me. <laughs> but you're not supposed to tell. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Don't tell me if you don't want to. All right. I won't. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play. Fleta, I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. You're my friend. You belong... <laughs> you belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave... You know what will become of you, don't you? I don't like this. I'm scared, Flutta. You're scaring me. So let's go play. <laughs> Answer me. Yes? Good. Let's go. Flutta, you're really, really scary. I don't know if I like you all that much anymore. I mean, I was always kind of questionable of you to begin with. Just generally. Oh, this looks like a fun room. What is this? 
Here we are! This is my playground! It's where I keep all of my toys! You have so many! Obviously! I'm a princess, after all. Let's go play! Come on! Okay, so let's find a nice toy to play with. The ragdoll lays on the floor with a gentle smile on her lips. So I gotta find some toys, I'm sure. A miniature train. Various carriages. Okay. Alright, let's go up here. What about the lights? Is that what I need here? Okay. Looks like this is good. Here they are! Aren't they cute? You have so many! <laughs> let's play! Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's alright. Egliette will explain <laughs> will explain you the rules. Alright, but I really don't understand her. What does that matter? She can just play it anyway. But I can't hear what Egliette says. <sighs> Ugh, fine. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. Is, it, is this a game where I die? Please make sure I don't die. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. No one, who, The one who catches the most butterflies wins. I see. It sounds fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go to the cage so... You go to the other cage so we can start. Okay. Are you ready? Sure! Game start. I'll go first. Okay. How do you catch them? I'm sure I'm gonna lose just because I have zero idea what I'm doing. You're really quick! I got eight! Good job, Fleta! Good job! Is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. Okay. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. I thought we were friends. Well, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Fleta, what do you want? Hurry up, it's your turn now. Okay. It's my turn. How do I catch them? All right, doing my best. Oh, wait, 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 eight, ten. Ah, I got more than eight. <laughs> I win. I lost the last game. It was it one episode ago, I think? It was the matching game. I lost horribly. I won. Uh oh, she's mad. Don't hit me. Okay! You're a cheater! That's what you are! But I'm a princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> we will just pretend we will just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win at hide and seek, fair and square. I I Um, but I thought we were friends. Fine, let's play. Not that you'll ever win anyway. Okay. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. All right. <laughs> you will never find me. All right, so it's somewhere in the house. All right, so let's go. Let's see. Can I interact with anything in here? Butterflies. Should I get to catch butterflies? I can't. They're just kind of floating there. All right, so let's go see if we can find her. All right. Can I talk to you guys? Nope, can't talk to them. All right, is she in here Some Ooh, it's a diary. It's a book. December 4th, 1862. Dear diary, today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared, and no one would will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide-and-seek since yesterday. Uh-oh. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad, too bad, because I want to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Uh, no, April. Oh, no, it must be April 12th and 13th. I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. 23rd, dear, I wish we didn't live away from town. I never I never have any girls to play with, and Brother spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either, so maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy me on his trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. There's a lot of diary entries. Wow. Today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what... Brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be all right, because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden, but it started raining, so I had to stay inside. It was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room, because she she was isn't there anymore. What happened to Mother? I don't like Mother. 
Oh, oh, sorry. I totally didn't mean to do that. I will never let my brother touch her. Oh, this must be Egliette. Okay. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egliette doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious father is a boy because he is going to going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Egliette is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories, too. My favorite story is about that time when Egliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. That was a fun story. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Egliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Egliette. Wow. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining, and the story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid, I hated it. May 5th. May 3rd, sorry. <clears throat> my favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress... When my eyes turn pink, okay. I will play dress up with Egliette, and we will only wear pink dresses. But I will have to cut my hair because it's too long, and I like it shorter. Okay. Whose diary is this? Uh, Fleta's? Probably. I mean, if I had to guess, sounds like Fleta's. Sounds like something she would write. Okay, Fleta! Fleta! Are you here? Are you a pumpkin? I don't... Hey, I found you! Ah, there you are. Hm, took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to my playground. You stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not that bad. Oh, is that so? Maybe. <laughs> I'll give you a head start then, miss. I will count to 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that all right? Really? Yes, really. I'll be going now. Do your best, all right? <laughs> all right. All right, so let's see if we can find a good place to hide. All right, should I save? Let's save real quick. There we go. All right. See if we can find a good place. I wonder if I can hide. Can I hide under these things? Nope. How about pumpkin? Can you hide me? Nope. What was that noise? I don't like those noises, whatever it is. Okay. Can't hide in there. What? Okay, whatever that is, I'm going upstairs. I, I don't even want to. No, no, no. Nope, I'm going all the way upstairs. I can't go up there. Why not? Things are getting kind of scary in here. Can I hide behind the chair, please? Please? Like, pretty please? All right, I'm going to hide. go downstairs and hide behind the curtain. It's not looking good. This kind of sucks. Things are kind of scary now. Scary now. Oh my. You see those in the window? I see those in the window. Not good. Not good. Hey, I got pumpkin charms. Okay. Is that good? How, why can I not hide? Pumpkins, hide me. I think I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Do I just avoid her? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Do I just avoid her? Oh no! What are you doing here? Why aren't you hiding? <laughs> I didn't have time to find a place to hide. Didn't have time? Are you still going on with your ugly lies, miss? But but I'm not I'm not lying. I've had it with you, miss. Uh oh. I think she's gonna kill me now. Finally dying, finally dead. It seems we really can't be friends after all. Fleta, what do you mean? Come with me. I'm taking you where you belong. Fleta, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I just... Too bad. I'm already upset. Now come with me. I'm going to teach you a lesson. I don't like the sound of that. Ow! Hey! Fleta! Ow! 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 What? What? Not cool! Whoops! Oh dear. It seems she fell down the stairs. Poor thing. Do you think that hurt? Oh well. <laughs> That's not cool! That is not at all cool. Oh wait, wait, wait. Is that it? Was that was I supposed to do that? I mean it looks right. 
Yes! I got it! I knew- I knew it has to be something when it switched realities, as it were. Ooh, a letter. Acquired. Leibsbrief. Okay. I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have, have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. Okay, then. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Uh-oh. Hi, Flutter! What are you doing here? <laughs> Flutter, I'm sorry! I just found this room and I asked you what you were doing here! Nothing? <laughs> Answer me! Nothing! I just, I just, you just what? I told you I want you to stay here with me, to be my friend and live, live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies! I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies! But flat on not, you're coming with me, miss! To the place where ill-behaved girls belong. This is not good! This is not good at all! You've been a bad friend, miss. But I haven't! Fleta, don't leave me here! Don't worry. I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss! <laughs> Fleta, no! Mm hmm. Awesome. Well, this sucks. Ugh. I need to get out of here. Okay. So let's find... It's locked. Alright. Alright, let's go this way. I need it. Oop! What is this? The small doll aimlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to, it, to herself. Okay, so is this the place of, like, wayward toys? Yep! Totally the place of wayward toys. What's going on? You're finally here! We have been expecting you, miss. You're finally here! She's as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. The chosen one! I, just, I need to get out of here. Alright. We've all been expecting you, miss. Don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. You're the chosen one. What does that even mean? Oh, wait. Music box. Yeah, let's save here. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I've been playing over 30 minutes. We actually learned quite a bit. We've learned how scary Fleta actually is. She's not just mean. She's, you know, murderous. We kind of already knew that a little bit. But... Things are getting really nitty gritty now. Things are kind of starting to move forward in a very, very dark direction. Not that it wasn't dark already, but hopefully next time we'll find out what the, being the chosen one means. What some of my, maybe some of my items will come into play. That'd be kind of nice. But hopefully we'll figure out just some more stuff, which is going to be awesome. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>